clean up first. In this video, we're gonna talk about grams and kilograms. We're learning about mass. This is how much of an object we have. Most of the world uses grams and or kilograms to measure mass. It's not widely used in Myanmar, Liberia, and the United States, however. Now that we've established that grams and kilograms talk about the mass of an object, we're going to use our scale here. And you'll notice that we are using the little g here. That means grams. If you were to have a different unit, like pounds and ounces, and we talked about this in a different video, this can of green beans is just over a pound. One pound and it's almost one ounce. And remember, one pound is 16 ounces, but we're learning the metric system today. So one can of green beans is 471 grams. Now they advertise on the label, they say, 411 grams that's pretty close 471 grams but what's better than one can of green beans two cans of green beans we have 942 grams sometimes the scale can be off just by the smallest amount that's why whenever you're done make sure you zero it out class here's a shortcut 1000 grams is one kilogram that prefix kilo means 1,000. But we're almost there to 1,000 grams. And remember, 1,000 grams would be a kilogram. So let's add another can of green beans. One more can of green beans, oh snap. This is 1,414 grams. That means it's 1.4 kilograms, approximately. Because 1,000 grams makes a kilogram, this is going to give us about 1.4 kilograms of green beans and aluminum and everything else that goes into this, including this paper label. Whoa! All right, green beans, clear the scale. Okay, see how the scale resets to zero? We're ready for the next problem. Triceratops. This Triceratops toy is 48 grams. It doesn't have a lot of mass. Let's pretend Mega Kitty is 100 pounds on Earth. And I say on Earth because the gravitational pull on Earth is a lot stronger than the moon where people can bounce around and they feel lighter. Well, there's just less gravity. So Mega Kitty would be 16 and a half pounds on the moon. That's what weight describes. But just to talk about how much of Mega Kitty there is, well, that's a question of mass, and we use the metric system, grams and kilograms, most commonly to talk about mass. So Mega Kitty would be 45 kilograms, roughly, on Earth and the moon. The Lego Monster Truck. It's 83 grams. It doesn't have a lot of mass either. It's pretty light, but remember, because it says it's 83 grams, it's gonna be 83 grams here on Earth, or the moon, or Jupiter, or any other place that this could go. Banana! All right, the banana has approximately 141 grams. 141 grams. Just in the interest of exploration, let's switch over to pounds and ounces. <gasps> it's five ounces. That would be the American system that we use, the standard system, but the metric system that the majority of the world uses tells us that this has 141 grams, and that amount isn't gonna change whether this banana's here on Earth or it's on the moon. We need a way to go back and forth between pounds and kilograms, so here you go. About 22 pounds are in 10 kilograms. And if you wanna take it and make it smaller, well, 2.2 pounds is about one kilogram. Roughly. What else do we have? A can of soda. A can of soda has about 372 grams. That may seem like a lot of grams, but it's really not heavy. It's pretty light. We have a monster truck toy, different from the Lego. This one is 100 grams, 99 grams, yeah, 99 grams. All right, do we have some more? Mega Kitty, Mega Kitty. 
Mega Kitty has 210 grams. That's how much mass Mega Kitty has. Oh, oh, it's fluctuating. Okay, 210 grams. Mega Kitty's a lightweight. 30 pounds, 40 pounds, I'm getting bigger now. 50 pounds, 60 pounds, what goes up must come down. 70 pounds, 80 pounds, mass times acceleration. 90 pounds, 100 pounds, weight of multiplication. For 16 ounces in a US pound. 2,000 pounds in an American ton. But our friends in Canada use the kilogram. 1,000 of those is a metric ton. Are you confused now? 30 pounds, 40 pounds, I'm getting bigger now 50 pounds, 60 pounds, what goes up must come down 70 pounds, 80 pounds, mass times acceleration 90 pounds, 100 pounds, weight of multiplication For 16 ounces in a US pound 2,000 pounds in an American ton our friends in Canada use the kilogram 1,000 of those is a metric ton Are you confused now? 30. Here we have one of these stretchable toys oh! There's corn syrup and all kinds of crazy stuff inside this toy It has 235 grams of mass Cool What about a book? This is a book about polar bears. Hmm. This book's pretty light. This book has about 209 grams of mass. Yep, 209 grams. Thank you, book. What about the average mass of a full-grown grizzly bear? Whether it's a male or a female, it's between 130 and 360 kilograms, approximately. Goodbye, Sleepy Bear. What about a fire truck? Now, fire trucks can be really big. They can be anywhere between 16,000 and 27,000 kilograms. That's really heavy. And if you want to talk about just grams, that's about 16 million to 27 million grams. What if we have two dinosaur toys? A Monoclonius with one horn and a Triceratops with three horns. Together, they are 97 grams. That's how much mass these two toys have. 97 grams. This phone has 218 grams of mass. Not yet a full kilogram. Remember, how many grams are in a kilogram? 1,000 because the prefix kilo means 1,000. Friendly reminder, 1,000 grams is one kilogram. 100 grams. Not too heavy. What about 1,000 kilograms? That's the metric ton. 1,000 kilograms. Did you also know that 1,000 grams, not kilograms, but 1,000 grams, that's the kilogram. If we didn't make that clearer earlier, well, that's our fault, particularly mine. We'll do more math videos like this one that you just watched. We can't do it without you, though. Join the newsletter, and let's make this a thriving community for math students everywhere. See you next time. God bless. The can of green beans has 471 grams, and the Lego monster truck has some additional mass. Together, they have 555 grams of mass. All right. Not quite a kilogram. What a bonus. One Lego character. One Lego character, three grams. Real lightweight right here. Not heavy at all. What? One more bonus, a banana and a can of green beans. These two together have 615 grams of mass. Class, if you wanna learn about grams and kilograms, you just need to ask your parents to get a scale that'll allow you to weigh an object and find out how much weight it has, or in this case, how much mass it has. You want a scale that'll offer you the ability to look at grams, but also, as we were talking about weight, pounds and ounces. For example, the can of green beans and the banana have one pound and 5.7 ounces of weight between the two of them.